everybody it's sam here so i have i don't think i've done a what did i get for a while and i've got quite a few bits and pieces that i've just been kind of building up and i've been using them some of the things that i'm going to show you you would have already seen but i thought it'd be nice just to put them all in a video so first of all i've brought this one now this was on offer i did share the code and the link to this on my facebook page it was 40 percent off a load of simply made crafts products and i'd had my eye on this when she'd launched it but obviously i've got my own launches and product as well so I kind of forgot about it and then I saw that this was in the offer. So this one here is the shutter box die set. So it creates a lens kind of shutter. So this is like the lever. And when you pull it up and down, all these pieces close and yeah, just creates a really fun look. And I thought it'd be great for card making. So I can't wait to use this. I don't know if the 40% is still going as I do this video, but I will share the link to this and hopefully it is because it was a bargain. So I'm glad to get that because I know I'm going to be using that and that will be coming in a future tutorial. So look out for that. Next, I've got this collection here, which is the newest RSPB one, and this is the Tropical Birds. Now, I have already been using the papers and I've used this stamp set. I've made, I think, three cards already with the paper pad. I've made a lovely birdhouse style card using this one because this bird fit perfectly in the card. They're already on the channel, so you can check those out. It's a beautiful paper pad. If you like pads that have your toppers and kind of like the sentiments there for you, then I think you'll really like this one. And they're just so bright and colourful. They go with so many different coloured cardstocks that you've got. 190 GSM, pattern papers times four, and then two topper sheets times four. So you've got the stamp set there, nice big leaf detail there. You've got the flamingo, and then you've got all these different tropical birds, more leaves and stuff. Then you've got the die set. So they don't coordinate in terms of cutting out these images, but they coordinate in terms of the theme and, and things like that. So you've got your leaves here. You've got this lovely parrot and you've got all the detail there. So you can, you know, once you start adding your inks and stuff, it'll look great. I'm going to be using the flamingo. I've got a really fun card idea to use the flamingo. Then you've got your lovely kind of hibiscus style flowers there. You've got your hornbill here and then like a hummingbird, I guess. Then you've got this stunning die. If you love dies, like topper dies that do the whole card front, then I think you'll really like this one. You can see the gorgeous parrot there. Now I do think one of the samples that was made paper pieced this together and it looked amazing. And then you've got all the florals around and it's a five by seven size. You've then got your stencils. So you can do some lovely detail backgrounds and stuff that would look nice. And then you've also got, this was the extra. I got these ones as well so i've got this one which is the songbird and then this one's in full bloom so these are just part of other occasions but i thought it kind of works together and i had this paper pad i've got a few sheets left it's stunning again have a little look so i don't know what sold out i know this one was quite popular that one there is shows what it coordinates with but i don't know if that one was on there but it's an embossing file i just really liked it because it's the, like the branch i can put any kind of birds birds from my own collection and all sorts of that i just thought it was quite sweet so that's all of the rspb that i've got but i also saw the magazine and i actually done some of the inspiration using this kit it's a really pretty set if you love nature and scene building and the outdoors then you'll really like these ones again i always say box kits are really good if you're just starting off with card making because they have everything you need in there all you need is your you know like a card blank and your adhesive and scissors things like that but in terms of everything to make this card it will all be inside there but this one also came with this extra stamp set now i have the original one which was an a4 one which came on a issue of creative stamping magazine there was more to it but they've given you these ones you know they've kind of just condensed it down i remember using this scene i created a really nice stepper card with a fisherman and this was the background that i chose so this one's the a5 riverbank tales stamp set i'll give you a quick look inside the magazines because a lot of people like it when i show inside because you can't see all of this when you're maybe in the supermarket or online they show you just maybe three or four pictures but they don't actually show you really what it all is that, that you get it's nice to see it so this is premium magazine issue one as well so you can still kind of start collecting collecting these if you wanted so you've got like i said this stamp set then you've got this one here so it's going to work across many seasons because you've got, where was it? Peace, love, joy, be merry. But then you've got happy birthday. Tis the season, enjoy your special day. So it's going to work all year round. You've got the robin there, but you can change the colours. You've got your lovely birdhouse there. I mean, if you've got any of like the 
Maybe you've got some of the Cosmic Shimmer fluffy stuff. When you apply that to here, it will look like snow. So you can change it to more of a, you know, that winter scene. You could have this maybe stamped near it and stuff. I think it's a really nice one. So it's the British Garden Birds. You get your dies that will cut the main ones. So these two here, I believe. Yeah. And then you've got a couple of little leaves there. And then this embossing folder, which is similar to the one that I showed you before, but this is just plain. But it could also be antlers. You have two of these on a card. You could do something with that as well. Maybe you've got some, I don't know, Christmas lights or something you could tangle in amongst the antlers. I think that would look quite quite nice. But that's a, a handy one because obviously you can just have it that way and then have the little bird perched on the, the branch. And then your magazines. You've got 82 elements to get you crafting. 150 handy hints, tips and tricks for crafting inside. So I'll give you a little you know, peek inside. Um, in fact, I might as well show you this one here. So these ones here have been created by Sarah Jackman. Um, oh yeah, you get your topper sheet. So you get two of these. So you've got one with a foiling detail and then one without. So again, if you like your toppers and sentiments done for you, you've got those. But you can see the lovely bird house there, bird table with the bird on the front. And then she's used the papers, which I'll show you because they're inside this magazine. That's a nice one as well. She's actually used the embossing folder and then cut around the embossed piece. Love that one. Yeah, that's a really pretty one. And that's stunning. That's the papers there. Really like that. I think that's gorgeous. Um, so here's the papers. And they're non-coated, so you can apply your inks to them. You can stamp on them. And there's loads. Look how big. You know, it's a nice, thick middle part here. And we're just coming into Christmas in July. So this is going to be perfect if you want to get a head start on any Christmas makes. But like I said, all year round as well. There's that one that she used. Beautiful. I think you get two of each. So I think it doubles once you get into the centre. Again, another pretty all year round. Yes, yeah, so there's the middle. So it's easy to pull out and then it repeats again. And I'm starting Christmas in July. I'm not going to do every single tutorial in July as a Christmas theme, but there will be some cards that I'm going to be sharing yeah so there you go just doubles up again so this was the commission that i did so you've got this gorgeous dome card you can't see that that's a dome but that's actually curved and then i've just used all the toppers there so there's no stamping needed it was a very simple cut and um and then i just used a die to cut the middle bit there but if you want to do a square shape you can obviously cut that using your scissors and a ruler this one i love as well i love them all just three cards that i did let me make sure there's no kind of glag sometimes on the coated papers there. Yeah, you can see. But that's just, again, an example on how to use the toppers. And I'll show you one more. So that's using the embossing folder there. And I love, actually, who's this again? Sarah. She does gorgeous cards. You can see she's added some, like, faux snow because it's embossed. So I love how she's just turned that, you know, into a snowy scene there by adding the snow and then she's just stamped you know a little detail there like like snowflakes really really pretty let's have a look at one more because i haven't looked through the magazine properly so i get just excited i always say after i do these videos i go and have a coffee and i have a proper look through the uh, the magazines here we go this one's lovely this one is on the front this is the cover photo how pretty is that really really sweet i love how she's made these i mean they're, they're like little roses but they could also be berries and the twine there so it's really tactile and she's used some dried baby's breath on there gypsophilia i think that looks lovely so hopefully it's just given you you know a bit of an insight inside that magazine it's a really nice one like i say if you love doing anything you know bird themed and just nature and stuff i think you'll really like this one that's another nice one as well on the front see all those little rolled kind of tubes of the cardstock and then they've rolled the edges there so it's almost like an old book page really nice so there's loads in there and you get that bonus one as well. So, and you can keep it all in the box, you know, and they store quite nicely on your shelf as well. And then I think I got this the same day that I got all of this as well. Um, I saw, I put, again, I shared the, no, I think it might've been different because I shared the post with the Daisy May offer. And I said, there's a few things there that I've got because I know I'm going to be able to use them in my collections and stuff. So I brought the stencil, thought this was really nice for scene building, just backgrounds really simple one it's the village trees stencil and then i had to get this one i've recently got a puppy if anybody again is new to the channel 
Um, this one's got two of my best friends. You've got the cute little puppy there. Dotty about you stamp set this is. And then it says I'm dotty about you. And then you've got the Dalmatian there as well. A perfect couple. And you've got the little heart of, box, um, you know, chocolates there. Now, this one's perfect if you want to do your reverse stamping. So if you do another image and reverse it, then, then you could have like a heart and they could look like they're kissing. It could be a cute little Valentine's card or something. But I just love that. And then I got this paper pad. I've got quite a few of my scenes paper pads and they always do well. And I just know I can use this on a lot of the dies that I have. So it's the school nativity, but you can use them, I think, for all kinds of things. I mean, you could cut that across there and do something different with it. This one, you know, I know it's got the, the Star of Bethlehem there, but you could definitely cut that and you could have, you know, a completely different themed card. This one, I think, has got a bit of a magical kind of look about it and circus. And you could cut very easily around there and then have that as the opening of a card and then maybe a shadow box or something. I think it would look really cool. Simple stars, that's going to work with any kind of, you know, Christmas kind of card, but even for a birthday, I think as well, or a winter birthday. This one I can see working really well with my bird house pop-up card that I've recently shared, because I say in that it would work brilliantly as a nativity stable. And this, I think, could work great in the background. So I think I might revisit that and have that as one of my Christmas in July makes, because that's perfect. And then you've got that one, just a really nice starry background. And then it's back to the beginning again. So it's just a handy pad. But any kind of background ones, I think, are great because the work's done for you. Then you've just got to focus on the front of the card. Now I'm showing this one again because it's now on pre-order. It's sold so well that they've, you know, ordered it again. So if you missed out on the Paddington first time round it's available again like i said on pre-order i don't think you've got long to wait but it was the eight by eight pad the stencil which is being washed it's in my sink <laughs> um you've got a lovely stencil you've got the ephemera pack and you've got two stamp sets paddington gets busy and paddington and you can buy them all separately as well but they are available as a bundle but i've made two cards using this and i'm looking forward to being able to make some more now as well the papers are stunning you get your toppers two topper sheets there or two designed topper sheets and then these paper pads and they're the real nice sketched images as well just gorgeous it's such a lovely one timeless and then i've got sheena's collection now i was sent this one but i'm really glad i've got it if you've again been following me for a long time i love nautical cards and just any kind of nautical collections and i think this is going to work really well with a lot of things that i've already got they're gorgeous, big, large stamps and dies, which I'll show you in a moment. And then massive stencils. I mean, if you want to do a nice masculine kind of background, nautical scene, build up the fish and stuff in front. I think that's fantastic. You've got the ship's wheel there. And you've got like some treasure and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. You've got a smaller version. And then here you've got the shipwreck. And then you've just got other kind of details. You've got the anchor there as well. So if you love your mixed media, maybe altered canvases and things like that as well. These are going to look great with your mediums, with like your texture paste and things like that. Oh, and this one, that was it. <laughs> this one's one of my favourites. And Sheen has been doing some amazing Facebook Live tutorials. And I've been tuning in every now and then. And she's done some great ones where she used the paper pad, which is this one here, Treasures of the Deep. And she layered up the stencils on top and she used different, it was metallic paints, I think head over to her Facebook because she's got some great um, techniques on there and I'm looking forward to, to using some of them. But this, and I mean inked in orange and then gold, it looks amazing. So I think I'm going to be able to incorporate and kind of mix, you know, elements of these with my own stamps and um, other nautical things that I've just got over the years. So let's just look at the paper pad in a bit more detail. So eight by eight, 24 sheets, six designs. So you've got this one here and then you've got the greens. It's like the, you can see the jellyfish there and all of like the tentacles. That one with some of the seaweed. It's like the sunbeam coming down there. Again, you've got another sunbeam there and then the bubbles coming up from the fish. And then like the octopus legs. And then another one, just a nice background. Lovely, really, really nice. And then let's have a look inside these ones because I haven't opened these. I've seen Sheena obviously launch it and demo them, but I've not 
had a look myself. So we've got, so these are bigger than my ones. So it'd be nice to have like the mix of sizes because I've got seaweed ones similar. But obviously seaweed's all different sizes in the ocean. So it'd be nice to have different sizes on the cards. So look, you can see these are lovely, you know, big, big dies. And then you've got your oyster shell. You've got, oh, I've got one of these. I have one whole what are they called put your put your answer in the comments box i'll find it out after this anyway but i cannot remember what they were called it's a really nice name if i remember i'm sure it's something like an angel's kiss or something like that anyway and then you've got the starfish there as well and then also oh yeah you've got another one there which says just because and then we've got the stamp set so it will cut all of this out but they work on their own as well so they look nice you know because they've got all of the embossing detail there but they will also cut the stamped images so if i just pop it against there you can see how big that is so you've got your die to cut so it will cut all of these the dies and you've got other sentiments may the world be your oyster friends are like seashells you collect them along the way and you're a star and then salt water salt water and seashells okay so that one is called shells okay so this one is called strange sea creatures so you have again all the dyes that will cut the images out they're gorgeous but it was this one that i saw sheena using in a demo and the way she'd made these look was they just looked absolutely beautiful it's a lovely detailed dye there and you can use your inks because you've got the stenciling detail there as well to add more detail to the image if you're just going to start and um, die cut it. And you've got your dyes there so you've got more seaweed and then sentiments, you're unique, weird or what. Um, make your own magic and original, strange but true. And there's the dyes there as well. Okay. And then this one here is called All Right Treasure. I think this is great for boys' cards. Really, really good. We've got a lovely big die here for the treasure chest. And again, this will work great with mine. So you could have the treasure chest in the background. I reckon you could make that so it pops up. You could have cut maybe around it or something. I'm going to have a play around with that. Yeah, you could cut along there quite easily. So we could have that as a pop-up or something. But you can see, again, nice big dies there. And then you've got this great one here with the skull and crossbones. Good for Halloween as well. You could do quite a cool under-the-water Halloween card with this. And then you've got your sword. You've got your cup. You've got the keys. Uh, what else have we got here? And then just more of the seashells there, the starfish. That one again. <laughs> What's that one called? <laughs> so again, really nice. Then you've got You All Right Treasure, Priceless of the two sentiments on that one. And then this one also says All Right Treasure. So in fact, it's all the same info there. I've got a feeling that might have been a typo. That's different. But I don't think this is called All Right Treasure as well. I could be wrong. But anyway, this one is the dolphin one. So you've got gorgeous stamp set there. The three different dolphins. And you've got fantastic laugh. Friends are the ones you click with. Joyous, keep smiling. Be uh, the beautiful sea, and then make a splash. You can see the three dies there. And then you've got a bonus one. You've got an extra different um, orientation there. And then the three sentiments are beautiful, joyous, and laugh. So that's all of the treasures of the deep. Like I said, that's the new one by Sheena. And then I've also got the latest Papercraft Society kits. This is kit 33 by Lisa Horton. I have just filmed a separate unboxing for this one and that will be going up very soon. So you'll be able to see inside. But you can also see videos already that Lou's done over on the Craft Stash YouTube channel. And this is already available for open stocks. So you can go and check it out. But if you'd like to watch the unboxings, that will be coming soon as well. I can't wait to start using this one. So that's everything to show you today. So it's a real mixed bag. That's just how I like it. And that's why the channel is called Mixed Up Craft. Look out for, like I said, the unboxing of this one. If you missed out on Paddington, like I said, pre-order is now on. So you can grab that and not miss out for the second time. And I can't wait to use this one, the Shutterbox die. I might see if I can kind of do something with the Treasures of the Deep there as well. We'll see. But anyway, thank you for watching as always. I will link 
as much of this product as I can in the description box below as always and yeah if you've not subscribed and you want to see what I'm going to make with all of this product make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.